Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Rambling of an Analyst. Today's episode, we're going to talk a little bit about what I have read quite recently and I want to share with you guys this particular tip. So quite recently, I read this particular book uh, called The Compound Effect and it's written by I think Dan Hardy, I think. So do, I do apologize if I get the uh, authors wrong. But uh, in this particular book, they gave an example uh, whereby they have two scenarios. The first scenario is that assuming if someone were to give you, uh, you, you have to choose between two. Assuming if this person were to give you maybe two million ringgit today itself. Or you can choose option B, which is this person is going to take 1,000 ringgit and put it with a fund manager. And this fund manager will compound your debt $1,000 uh, on a daily basis by about 10% for about 90 days. So which would you choose, one or two? Over here, if you take option number one, uh, which is option A, uh, we will only get as much as 2 million ringgit. But having said that, if we take option two, that particular amount can compound to approximately about 5 million ringgit. So that is the power of compounding effect. So right now, if you're wondering to yourself, why I, am I even sharing with you this particular advice? What relevance does it, does it have with anything? We obvious, we maybe cannot get fund managers to help us compound that money um, on a daily basis. And also what kind of asset class gives us a compounding effect on a daily basis of about 10%. Of course, uh, you know, in our heads, maybe there, there's no way, uh, you know, we'd be able to be in that particular scenario. But I just want you guys to imagine this with me. And I was reading this book and I was trying to figure out how to best share this advice to you or what best actionable items that we can take. So over here, in a previous example, we could see that one of the ways of building wealth is number one, savings, and number two is the return of our assets, right? Now, now let us imagine that if on a yearly basis, we just improve incrementally how much we can save. Say maybe year one, we can save maybe about 3,000. Maybe year two, we save about 3,300. And year three, we save about 3,600, so on and so forth. So this is the small little incremental improvements that we can make. On top of that, in terms of returns, let us say today, right now, we can only make maybe 8% per annum. And as time were to go on, we increase our returns from our investment from maybe 8 to 9 to 10 to 11%. So again, in the previous example, I shared with you the example of Ali, whereby if he saves as much as 10 ringgit per day, and in terms of return of his money, he will get maybe 10%. So over here, in 10 years, he will get uh, 57,000 ringgit. And on the 30th years, and on the 30th year, he will get about 600,000 ringgit. But having said that, let us assume that Ali has a good habit and he incrementally saves more and more and more and more. And let us say his savings on average is about 15 ringgit per day. On top of that, he always reads books and he always goes on YouTube channels and he tries to learn about investing. Over here, let us say his return on investment is about 15%. So we can see that on the 10th year, he will get about 110,000 ringgit. But on the 30th year, he will get as much as 2.3 million ringgit. So over here, what I want to tell you guys before we end is number one, what are one of the best ways for us to increase our saving is to create a budget. If we don't have a budget, do consider to create a budget right now. And if you're wondering to yourself, you have no knowledge on budgeting, I do have a free course on the link below. So click on that particular link and I'll teach you how to budget where I have a class. On top of that, we can also cut our expenses after we have budget. The third thing we can do is always learn to invest. And over here on this YouTube channel, I'm always teaching you guys on how to invest. Aside from that, besides me as a YouTube uh, channel or, or as a resource, maybe you can consider to read books on investing. 
that way you can become a better investor okay guys i hope you enjoyed this particular episode i think this episode is extremely powerful uh, and if you can only take one point from this particular episode aside from uh, hitting the like button and subscribing is every day ask ourselves where we are and every day just take that one percent improvement step and if we were to improve day by day rest be assured the the efforts will compound and when the efforts will compound the results will also compound with that take care and hope to see you guys in the next episode